Adventures. My name is Travis, and today we're going to take all of you on an adventure that celebrates Sabato's Dolphin. It's our hope that you all leave here knowing so much more about these amazing animals and have a renewed respect for the oceans and the waterways that we share with them. Well, let's get things started by introducing you to one of the dolphins that we care for. Coming up in the center of the pool, this is Bill. Now, Bill is a bottlenose dolphin, which is just one of the several different species of whales and dolphins, also known as cetaceans that you can find all along the coast of Florida. All of the dolphins you'll be meeting today were born within our sea world parks, and they range from ages from 13 all the way up to 45 years old. After today's presentation, be sure you stop by right next door at Key West Dolphin Cove. That way you guys can get a much closer look at underwater viewing and learn a lot more about this incredible marine mammal. Now that we've had some of our mamas down, we to talk about what makes dolphins so cool. Nature has provided them with some amazing adaptations that allow them to navigate, forage, and play through the water. One of those adaptations is a blowhole that's located on top of their head. This is where they breathe air from, of course, but it's also how they communicate with one another and make a wide variety of vocalizations. So, let's listen in. Dolphins have to hold their breath while foraging for their prey. Their prey largely consists of fish, squid, and the occasional crustacean. And in order to catch that fast-moving and slippery fish, dolphins like Alejandro use their powerful tails to reach speeds of up to 22 miles per hour. Now, they also use that same powerful tail to get that look above the surface, getting up and out of the water. Engaging our dolphins both physically and mentally allows us to give them the best care possible and it provides exceptional animal welfare. Now, through this care, we develop bonds and build relationships with them, much like you would with a dog at home. Although dolphins seem like natural athletes, it's our mutual love of play that provides that connection between us. And over the past 50 plus years, SeaWorld so has learned that their play ultimately leads to our discoveries. So while our playtime today might just look like a lot of impressive jumps and spins, it's actually an essential part in how we care for them. Just watch!
angry? Just had a whole lot of fun up here. But what about you guys? Are you all ready for some more fun? Yeah! Well, that's great, because we have a whole other group of dolphins that are waiting for you all to discover. But sometimes discoveries will lead to risks. Dolphins are innately curious and out in the ocean. This can potentially lead them to exploring polluted areas or even playing with trash. So what can we all do to help? Small actions can have huge impacts like recycling, joining a local beach or a park cleanup, making sure that you're properly discarding a fishing line and plastic bottles, or better yet, choosing reusable items to help reduce the amount of waste that we produce. It's simple, easy things like this that can go a long way in helping protect our ocean life. Jackie and myself are just two over 350 zoological professionals right here at SeaWorld. Collectively, not only do we provide world-class care for these dolphins, but we've also facilitated the rescues of over 40,000 animals with the goal of rehabilitating and returning them to their natural environments. And we couldn't do this without all of you. Your visit today matters, and without all of your support, we wouldn't be able to do such good work and help out wildlife in need. So on behalf of our entire animal care team here at SeaWorld, we want to say thank you. When we care for our world and take action on behalf of the animals they call at home, that's part of the legacy that we leave behind. And that legacy is one word celebrating. Enjoy the rest of your adventure right here at SeaWorld. Goodbye.